members and vice president. Um, my name is David Morris. I'm a Lyft rider. I'm on fixed income. I, I buy two bus passes a month for my wife and myself, which, which depletes my, my funds for any entertainment or any type of going out experience. And I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of saying to this board and to others, <coughs> help me. You people have, have, the, have a way to do that. Come on the buses with us. Come with us. See what we have to put up with. On fixed route, there are dangers for people in wheelchairs. There are, uh, on, on several of the lift rides, they, the, the staff is, is verbally abused by some people that can help it, some people that can't. But I think this board, these people that make all these big decisions, talk about millions and billions of dollars, ought to come down, ought to have to spend a thousand dollars and do that for one month. You have one thousand dollars to get through 30 days. Pay your rent, do all the other things you have to do, but make sure you don't go over that thousand dollars. Because I can't. I, I, have, I have to pay, I have to pay my wife's expenses, I have to pay my expenses, and I used to make $40,000 a year and more. And now, since I've had several strokes, several heart attacks, other, other medical issues, my, my income has gone from over 40000 down to one. $1,000 a month is what I make. So if I want to do anything else, i got to take from one point and hope I can stretch it far enough so I can take my wife out for a hammer or do something fun. But I don't have the choice of whether I pay your bill. I don't have a choice of whether I pay my life bill. I certainly don't have a choice of whether I pay my rent. Those things are fixed. My income is very fixed. And then you say to me, oh, we want to raise it 30 cents. We want to raise it 50 cents. We want to raise it $10. Those are numbers, but with those numbers comes dollars. Those dollars I can't pull out of my ear. I can't pull them out of my wallet. If I could, I would, because this is one of the best systems in the country. And it, as one of the, the members was talking about today, uh, I'd like to get rid of the paper um, bus pass and go to, go to a credit card system, uh, credit, credit style system, so that you don't have to do cash, and you and it can be reloaded. Use a reloaded card with with the, with the person's picture on it, an ID number, or whatever you want to use. But that's their personal number, and they can use it. And it can be reloaded over and over and over again every five years. Just renew it. Charge is five bucks, one one dollar a year for the renewal. I don't care, but whatever it is, but something has to give because we're not a cash cow. You're only talking about six million dollars out of what we can all give. Thank you, Mr. Morris. We are looking at those alternatives that uh, you, you just started to name and uh, appreciate your testimony. I, I thank this board very much. That your bus service serves us fine. And we have no, comp anyway, I have no complaints of it. But I don't want light rail in there. It isn't going to do a thing for us. And it isn't going to do a thing for you. You're going to have headaches like you're having right now a lot more because we don't want it. You're bullying us. You are bullying us. You know, this jobs that he talks about, Mr. McFarland, these jobs are short term. They're short term. They're not going to be long term. And you know, what about Cromberg Park and Kellogg Lake? Is this thing still on? You know, I'm really, that's how I got into this. Because I live in that area. I'm really angry that you are, you're bullying us. And I have one question and I'll leave. Will you sue the county if the IGA for the 25 million is canceled?
Can you answer that? No, we can't answer that today, but thank you. Will I get an answer in the mail? I would say, um, and this is what I've said publicly many times, is that we have a binding agreement with Clackamas County and the city of Port with the city of Milwaukee. Both of the jurisdictions have voted twice for, for to approve the project and approve the IGA. That's where we stand. We're doing our part as a partner with Clackamas County and city of Milwaukee. Uh, we expect them to do their part as a partner. Well, my understanding is, if you don't get our $25 million, and you don't get the $5 million from Milwaukee, the feds aren't going to do what you want them to do because you have a deadline. And that's what all this tweaking is. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Lesser. Boy, appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Paul, you've already spoken this today. Thank you. on a previous issue, and I was supposed to have time to speak before this lady. I was now told that there is no time for me to speak. There isn't. She was allowed to speak. My three minutes has been denied, and I'm very upset. Okay, well, we have another meeting next yeah, month. We Thank hope you. to see you then. Thank you. All right, well, with that, we are adjourned. Thank you, everybody.